here's my guitar body design, Frankensteined out of a bunch of printouts, sitting on my wood block. Um, doesn't look like it's a one piece, but that's because I've already had a go at it with the planer. So this piece of wood, thankfully it's way too thick, uh, but it's also got some serious cupping. So have a look at the gap that's right there. Uh, I guess it's not as bad as it looks like, but that's, um, I don't know, it's an eighth of an inch anyway. So the wood's too wide, which is good, it's just what you want, and it's too long, which is good, just what you want. I need to plane this, and I've got this little hand planer, which is, uh, it's doing something, but I'm not sure I want to sit here and hand plane the entire thing, considering uh, I do have to lose something like a half an inch off of this uh, chunk of wood to make my body blank out of it. But I do have an interesting solution and that is using the table saw. So. Okay, what I've done is secured this um, piece of whatever you call it, old 70s siding, um, with some wood braces to make it strong to the uh, fence rails on the table here so that I've got a nice flat surface to work with. And I checked it for level, and it doesn't have to be level, it just needs to be planar. So as off-level as that happens to be, it is equally off-level all the way across. Likewise, slightly closer to being level here, but it's off-level. <clears throat> the same way, all the way across. So this thing is, for better or for worse, a planar surface. This is the um, inside of the cupped bit. I've already gone with my planer to sort of get started on it and just make it a little easier to work with. But there is a crack here, because this is the side that dried more, so this is why it's uh, shrunk more and it's cupping the wood upwards like this. So, uh, let's get the table saw uh, started and see if this, as an experiment, works. So there's what you got to watch out for. Uh, slipped off the edge of the table and uh, gouged into the wood a wee bit. Now it's relatively easy to make sure that none of the guitar body hits that particular spot because this was to be the good side. Um, and I'm not going much deeper. But I do have a relatively flat, it's groovy, but it is at least relatively flat spot here and then with a number of passes I can get this all to be the same relative depth and then just sand it smooth. So as a proof of concept I, th I still think this will work. Okay, so perhaps you can't call this a planer, uh, but it does do a rough job of making the wood flat. I do still have to hit it with the sander, um, and I'm, as I mentioned, I'm going to avoid that gouge. But as long as you can keep the blade away from these uh, screw heads, uh, this ought to work. There, see? About 
five minutes worth of work with the uh, hand planer and the hand, uh, well, the be uh, belt sander. And I got this thing down to pretty darn level. Um, I thought of a name too, the sap caster. Because handling this thing, just around these edges, you can feel it. It's sticky. Now that's pine for you. Okay, I've got this thing standing on screws again and I measured from the top of the workpiece to the table. And it's exactly the same height on all three points. So now I'm going to push this. I've got the blade set, so it's just going to contact the wood when we get outside of the center. It's going to take probably a little bit out of the middle, but not a lot. And most of what it's going to take off is going to be near the edges. And when I'm done, I should have a piece that's at or around one and three quarter inches, um, which is the normal thickness for like a Stratocaster. But this being a double neck, I'm willing to go a little thinner, maybe one and a half. So, uh, you just reduce the weight. So, let's get cooking. Ah. Well, that worked beautifully. Now I did have a bit of a mishap right at the end and the wood, one of the screws went off the table and left a bit of a gouge. However, it's not in an area that I intend on using, which is good. And then in trying to correct that, to catch it as it were, as the thing partially fell off the table, it fell onto the blade again and left two quite deep gouges. Um, but again, not a problem. Um, so I don't really have a preference to whether this is facing uh, up or down. The wood as it is oriented is up or down, I mean. But um, this way, right as it is, avoids both of those gouges in a way that if I oriented it the other way, it wouldn't. So um, I got nice, flat, smooth, one and three quarter inch thick wood, which is great because now I can shape the guitar and continue sanding and so forth and I can still go until the thing reaches like one and a half so beauty next step is the uh, bandsaw I think and of course with a shop vac and a touch of compressed air you can keep your tools looking nearly brand new I could even return these I'm no, just kidding